Sheldon Nightfall's update. October 6th, 2015. Sheldon. Dritzel. Various positive factors are coming together to assure that your blessings are to be received by you shortly. Our earthly allies have agreed to a time schedule, which is now underway. As we stated last time, a great movement of funds to extremely secure depositories has been completed. The next step is to see that these funds can be safely placed in their distribution centers. Our liaisons report that these measures are nearly complete. It is the intention of our allies that you take possession of these monies as soon as is possible. Hence, the time of the various illegal regimes is coming to an end. Thus, those who have long done the dirty work for their bosses are mostly under house arrest. Major arrests are to become public once these scalawags can be safely transferred to special holding areas. The heads of this evil bureaucracy of bankers and vile businessmen are to be picked up when new governance is ready to emerge. Until then, we have restricted their formerly unlimited powers. The days of the dark and its heinous manipulation of you are basically over. Ahead of you lie days filled with mostly miraculous news. This series of exercises is expected as well to shut down a global psychic network of specially trained young people with strong psychic abilities, which was put into effect in the 1950s and 60s. Their handlers, over the decades, have created special conditions where those with the proper mental profiles have made possible a great series of horrible and despicable crimes. This network as well outputs special suggestions to subtly control and manipulate all. This horrible network is to be put down when these oligarchy-controlled regimes are no more. As you can see, the Dark Cabal continued with many of the ideas given to them by their former masters, the Anunnaki. At present, we have limited the effects of this program and a number of others, which are being used by the Dark to interfere with and disturb your daily lives. We cannot fully eliminate these yet, since the lives of those doing these dastardly deeds are in constant danger. Our intention is to deep six, a number of such programs when the right time appears before us. You are on a path, which is to swiftly lead to higher and higher consciousness. Along the way, you are to abandon customs and perceptions that are no longer applicable to you or your society. It is these changes that are to show where you are going. When the Atlantean experiments lowered your level of consciousness, you adapted certain customs due to the suggestions given to you by the Anunnaki. These many customs are to be dropped and new ones are to become the norm. For instance, the inequalities between men and women are to fade away. Your societies are to take on customs that in many ways mirror our own. Others are to be the beginnings of methods, which closely resemble those of galactic societies. When we land, our mentors intend to show you how your new beliefs developed as your consciousness evolved. This progression is something that we generally expected. Your old customs are based on your fears and certain controlled beliefs. Now, you can go beyond this. Your mentors desire to converse with you and explain this natural process as you return to who you once were. This process of transformation is to prepare you to take in a lot of data, which your mentors are to explain. This process can often be confusing. A number of human societies on other worlds have experienced this transformation process. What makes yours so unique is that you were dropped from full consciousness to a limited one. We have helped a number of societies to reach their full potential. We use these times as a learning curve to measure what is now happening to you. No group of humans has ever done what you are doing. Throughout this galaxy, societies are in various stages of fulfilling their consciousness potential. Normally, this process takes hundreds of thousands of years of continuous progress. You have not yet been able to forge societies capable of the much-needed set of precondition. Thus, you are to be pushed forward by us by applying a certain variant of the crystal light chambers, which can take you from this depleted state to full consciousness. This operation is being allowed by sacred decrees of heaven. The time for your rebirth arrives. Blessings, dear hearts. We are your ascended masters. The decrees of heaven are taking effect as the many waves of energy and the works of our associates are really complete. There is a timing effect, which is slowing how these various funds and new rules come together and produce a new prosperous financial system. In light of this, 
we have a few suggestions. First, learn to be kind to yourself. You are, in actuality, gestating a new version of you. This spiritually aware one is able to be more intuitive and consciously more able to perceive the spiritual realms. Use your off time to rest, meditate, and generally get more in touch with your inner self. Second, learn to play in an easier and more conscious way. You are becoming more aware of this realm in a different way. Relax and learn to use your discoveries to reinforce a more positive outlook. Come together and become more able to envision what you truly desire. These brief exercises can help to acknowledge to spirit how you have grown. It is wise to learn to share your most positive new awarenesses with each other. Spiritual knowledge is all about sharing your joys with each other. We humans love to be in community. We masters often come together to do just that. We pray and chant together to help our global human community. This process comes naturally to us. As you grow in consciousness, you likewise begin to see the power of positive and divine community action. What this can accomplish is truly astounding. As you practice this over time, you can as well discover its delightful power. It leaves you in joy to aid another and provide a pathway for them to grow. These divine acts of kindness are most satisfying. As you make this a true habit, you learn how these actions truly touch the divine. Be one who follows one's heart and practices the way of love. The way of the heart is the way of the divine and the sacred. It is the energy of heaven flowing deep inside you. When you first go beyond your magic ritual, you go to a special master whose loving task is to teach you about what heaven so wishes you to do. Once mastered, you quickly become accustomed to your sacred duties. These swiftly become second nature to you, so you are successfully set upon your path. We masters often come together and tell our wondrous stories of how, after many lifetimes upon this earth, we were given a great dispensation. This was earned by a number of exemplary lifetimes. The ceremony of admission was truly glorious. This, in our mind, is to mirror what you are to go through in the crystal light chambers. Hence, be wise and follow your heart to a truly positive and most wondrous experience. Today, we examined more of what is occurring around you. This realm is quickly approaching the point when it is to go through the first of many graduations in consciousness. As you pass through each successfully rejoice. Know that you are ever closer to full consciousness and your own galactic society. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it Salamat Gijan. Salamat Jaw. Syrian for B1, and be in joy.